so I have a little trick for you to see today because it's absolutely fantastic. And whenever I'm talking to people, uh, they've never heard of it. And it's just too good to miss. So here we are, we have an Excel table. Uh, this is in my OneDrive for Business, but you know, this could be in SharePoint or if you were using Office Pro Plus, you'd have the same experience. Anyway, cut to the chase. This data is just fictitious sales data for a fruit and vegetable business. So we can see a bunch of stuff here. You know, we've got carrots and broccoli, how much they sold, when and in which country. All very well. Now, the thing I want to highlight is the ideas button over here, which, like I say, you'll see in Pro Plus or in the browser based versions of Office. And if I click on this one, I get ideas. And ideas has looked at my data and then it's trying to suggest for me different analyses which I might want to do to pull out best value from my data. So if you just have a look here, it's showing me, for example, amount by country, category and product, which is a perfectly fine pivot table, which I might want to produce. And it will just do that for me. Amount by country and category. And then it mentions that the amount has six outliers. So let's have a click on this one. Insert pivot chart. It does all the work for me. There we go. So if you've kind of forgotten how to do a pivot chart, don't worry. Click of a button and you have it. But notice what we have. We have six outliers. So it's actually spotting anomalies in our data that we weren't even necessarily looking for. And if we weren't looking for it, we probably weren't going to find it. So, I mean, this is immediate great value. It's showing me potential problems with my data. Just think of some major issue you could actually find uh, just by you running this sort of analysis on data that you get. You could be looking at your sales data, your expenses, whatever. This is just fantastic. But of course, that's not all because there are umpteen different types of analysis, which this is suggesting for me. I mean, it's particularly rich data, and this is one of the reasons why. But OK, so banana has a noticeably higher sales amount than my other products, for example. You know, this is all good. Notice it says show all 24 results because those are the number of suggestions it's come up with. Apple France buys the most apples, you know, this sort of thing. So this is all really valuable. And like I say, oh, and by the way, let's just say, you know, we can also just insert multiple ones of these. So if there's some sort of series of analysis we want to do, and we're just getting all the extra tabs here in our workbook. Uh, and like I say, all you have to do is click the ideas button. There's nothing smart to it. Now, if your data isn't particularly pivotable, you may just get suggested a few graphs and things like this. But really, and I have to say my favorite is the outliers thing. Why not try it? It's there. It's free. Go for it.